How's it going everybody? My name is Mulder and welcome back to the Game Cron. Today we're looking at Outriders, how best to take down the Molten Akari. This is that giant spider that you will encounter as your first major boss battle in the game. I'll be going over some quick tactics to how to take this spider down if you're running a solo against it or with friends. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Now you will find this giant arachnid up in Eagle Peaks the moment you get into that area. Now I highly recommend that you be at level 10 to level 12 before taking on this spider. And make sure that you go into this battle using long range weapons, preferably SMGs or heavy assault rifles. Sniper rifles can do the trick here too, but bear in mind this spider will run at you quickly to do some vicious attacks. Now there are three stages to this fight. The first stage, the spider will have three basic attacks. The first, it will send shockwaves to the ground, causing lava to rise up out of the area to where just keep your eyes open for the lanes of when this attack comes. The second type of attack, the spider will jump into the air and try to slam the ground in your last known location. Another attack is that the spider will climb up the walls and try to throw molten lava at you. Now anywhere you shoot can damage the spider, but where you Want to do some critical damage is aim for its back. You will see giant armored clusters on its back. Shoot those off and shoot the yellow skin that appears. This is where any type of armor piercing weapons come in handy. The moment you shoot off any of this armor, continue to shoot at the exposed skin until you reach the next stage of this fight. When you reach the second stage of this fight, the spider will dive under the lava. This is when it will summon its young to come fight you. These other spiders are very easy to take down. This is also a perfect opportunity for you to restock up an ammunition and gain any health that you can leech off these spiders. Make sure to take care of these spiders as quickly as you can. Although they don't do any significant damage, the moment that the main spider comes out of the ground, you want to make sure that none of these little ones are running around. Akari will continue to do the same basic attacks it did in the first stage, however this time it will actually back off at one point to summon its young to come fight you as it tried to shoot lava out of its back. Make sure to use those little spiders as opportunities to regain health and get back your ammo. You can even avoid a few of these little guys if you need to in order to save them to gain ammo a little bit later. Once you defeat the spider, and get it to its third stage, this is where the fight will truly get out of hand. The Mother Akari will this time dive into the lava pit, but this time come out like a giant worm. You'll see these orange pusses sticking out of its body. Aim for those when you're trying to shoot and do damage to it. Its most dangerous attack is actually going to be where it spins around into the area shooting lanes of molten lava. Do not stand and shoot, just simply run and wait for it to finish its attack. That spilling of molten lava can finish you off quickly. Not to mention the fact that if you die in this fight, you have to start all over again. Once the lava waves stop, this is going to be your opportunity then to shoot at this thing and finish it off. It will continue to summon little spiders to come help it, but again, this is your chance to get ammo and health when you need it. But truly try to finish it off as quickly as you can. The longer this third stage fight goes on, the more likely chance you're going to get killed. Because not only is the spider shooting lava out of its body, but the entire area that you're fighting is continuing to shoot lava everywhere. Make sure to shoot off its armor and aim for the yellow skin and shoot at those pusses and you will eventually kill this spider. And make sure to use its young as an opportunity to get ammo and health. I fought this spider three times so far, twice on my own and once with friends and we were able to take it down in no time. And that's it for our Outriders how best to take down the Molten Akari. I'll be sure to do other videos on other beasts that you can hunt and take down in this game very soon along with build videos and other videos on how to craft certain items. So if you enjoyed this video and the series so far don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. I can't wait to dive more into this game with you along with other RPGs that are coming out later this year but until then my name is Mulder and I'll see you next time in the Game Cron.